I think to really like figure out my timing with um, school life, I mostly use like Google Calendar to plan out all of my like classes and meetings. And then I use like a journal um, for like a to-do list to like figure out what I have to do each day. Um, and then in terms of like extracurriculars, I guess for me, um, that's mostly like projects. So for that, I just like allocate a certain amount of time like each day to work on it because I find that um, I used to like dedicate like hours to work on like a project, but I would get really burnt out. So now I try to just like do a little bit each day. Um, and then for home life, um, I guess like now that's just because I live at home and have to like study here as well. So I think it's really important to find like a good separation between like your workspace and like where you relax. So I try to just like go to a different room to do homework or something like that. Yeah, I agree with all those things. Um, I think the main aspect of that that I've been able to use is the um, like really implementing a like a calendar system like Google Calendar is what I use. And I know like a lot of my friends use just some kind of little journal or something to just lay out what you have to do for the week and plan it so that you don't miss things or you don't plan too much and everything like that. So I think that's really important for, for school and extracurriculars. Um, and yeah, home life now that we're all at home, it's kind of, uh, I think it, it's an aspect of trying to, um, like you said, Catherine, just make sure you have that separation, like, I need to do school here, but also, like, having, trying to promote good relationships, like, with your family and everything like that. Um, but another part I wanted to mention about this, with, like, balancing time, um, it's also really important that this is something that I've experienced, is to focus on, like, stress management as well, like, because if you don't have good time management, that can lead to a lot of stress. And that stress can lead to like other bad habits that will just bring all other parts of your life like crashing down. So I think planning that into your schedule as well, like times for relaxation. And if it's, if it's getting like pretty bad, you need to be aware of that and like schedule appointments with counselors or things like that. Like you shouldn't be afraid to, um, do what's going to help you like be successful and that's something that should really be a big part of it because you can't you can't be successful if your if your mental health is really going downhill so yeah i think that's a big part of it yeah i totally agree as well um for me personally i do have like a planner that i write um things and i like write like what time am i supposed to take a break because i kind of like know myself and then during those break times, I try not to like get on my phone because I feel like if I get on my phone, it's really hard to get off and like just time flies. So like I, I usually like go outside or do something else just to like really stress, especially like now since I am home, it's like way different because there's so many distractions. So I try to like just give myself space and like walk around or do something. Yeah, I think actually for me, walking around just helps a lot. Just sort of like clear your mind and then take a little break so that when you come back, you're fresh to study again. Because otherwise you just get burnt out and it's not efficient anymore to keep studying. But um, definitely keeping a schedule of events or things that you need to get done is really helpful. Um, I'm not super organized with a calendar or a planner, but I'll take down notes on a sticky note. I'll write it on a Google Doc. As long as it's there, I'll see it during the day and then it reminds me to get it done. Um, I think it's probably more useful to just have a calendar with everything set out. But for me, um, as long as it's somewhere I can see, it's probably good for me to just get it done. Um, yeah, and then just, of course, having time to take care of yourself so that you can continue to take care of these other things is definitely necessary. Yeah. Um. Personally, for me, it's kind of like what Catherine and the other Catherine, <laughs> both Catherine said about what they use in terms of time management. I use Google Calendar to schedule out like hourly, um, what I have to do hourly within the day. So like my classes or like any meetings I have. 
And then for tasks, I like to use a physical notebook so I can like have the satisfaction of like crossing things out. Um, and like to also add on to like tips, um, when I have like a thing that I need to accomplish, so like, um, like homework or like I'm studying for a test, I like to put my phone on airplane mode so I'm not tempted um, to go back onto it when I like receive a, like a notification from like Instagram or from Facebook or for any of the applications I have on my phone. Um, but yeah, like finding good time management skills early on, it, it will really help you um, later on in the future. Those are all really great responses. 